Hi everyone, I'm Dylan. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop and today we're doing the challenge tree. So I took a small tree branch about I'd say six inches long, something like this, and I turned it into a mini totem pole. Now I don't have the original piece here, I have another one of them, but I don't have one here to show you what it looks like. But you'll see it in just a second in the video. This is what I came up with right here. Go ahead and watch the rest of the video to find out how I did that. Okay, so Dominic uh, Bender said that he really enjoys having people explain the kind of backstory behind what they're doing, so here goes mine. I had this little piece of cherry that I've saved. I was going to make a pipe out of it. Uh, it came right off the tree in my grandma's backyard. It's a fruit-bearing cherry tree, not a black cherry like you'd find in the wild. So it's got some pretty smooth bark. It looks just like black cherry though, like what you would buy from a sawmill. So I, I'm kind of, I don't know much about trees, but all I, all I could tell you is it's a cherry. So what I did is I went to the bandsaw and rough carved out everything to make this totem pole. Then I grabbed my real sharp knife, the one that I made in a how-to video and quickly decided that I really didn't want to risk losing it the really fine edge with the like the dirty bark because there's usually grit and uh, dirt in the bark and then just it'll, it'll ruin a knife blade if you're not careful so I switched over to the box cutter with replaceable blades it works just as well you just can't uh, twist off material like you can with a real nice sharp blade just because of how thin the blade is so I kind of knew what shape I was going for, something like a totem pole, so I cut it into sections and I also saved the sections from the, the faces of the two animals so that I could make wings for the bottom animal. Uh, the wings for the top one ended up getting tucked behind it, uh, you can see that a little later. I didn't really know what to show you guys for this video, I mean I recorded everything but it's all pretty well the same and it takes a long time when you're carving off little tiny chips. So I just kind of sped it up, I kind of added what I could. There's me using a V gouge to mark out uh, both the eyes and then make texture on it. Things that I couldn't have done with just a knife. So I grabbed the wood glue and I'm going to put those wings in now. I think I kind of struggled with the first one second one uh, I didn't actually show on camera because I, I figured you guys would understand how I put it in there uh, from the first one. That and I kind of had to let it dry sideways so it wouldn't fall out. And there goes the second one. Alright, thanks for listening guys. I think I'll explain the rest in a second. Alright guys, here we go. This is the finished product right here. I was going to paint it with some enamel paint, but there's a few reasons why I'm not going to do that. A, because I, I do really like just the, the bare wood, just that look, and I want to see how it, it ages, basically. I think it'll, it'll end up turning a lot darker brown because it's cherry, and I think that'll, I don't know, I, I just, I'm really excited to see what it ends up doing. And the second reason is because... Right now, it's about 6.30 p.m., and the challenge tree has to be done before midnight tonight, so I have to go to my grandma's and make this video. Real quick, I almost forgot. <clears throat> this is the finished box. I put the finish on it. It was my last video. It was a collaboration with Opa. He uh, asked me if I could, you know, put this in my uh, next video. So here it is, Opa.